we will use Sanctum for the authentication purpose. Make sure you also installed uh, Composer. Uh, let's go and start the installation. So I will copy this and then I will open my terminal. I will click here and let's say new terminal folder and here I will run that command. Uh, the name best suit will be social mini. It's now downloaded and I already dragged this now into Visual Studio Code. I'll close the terminal and then I need to first create some models uh, with migrations and but before that I need to do some basic configuration so the first thing I want to do is first of all let's go to the providers uh, which is inside app HTTP no not sorry uh, providers and then route service provider so here I want to just uncomment this one and I will show you why I this uh, uncommented maybe you already know this but it's just because inside the routes uh, I don't want to uh, use a, a remi controller here and then redirect uh, to date so that's why next thing I will do is uh, open a NV file and here I will change this to social many which will be our database and here I will type root okay and for the mailing uh, purpose I will use the mail trap when you go to mail trap and then sign in or register after that you will uh, see this page and here you can just choose laravel 7 from the drop down and then copy these all and paste it uh, over here okay so i will do this uh, and after this uh, this will be completed so then we just need to uh, start making our api uh, models and controllers and all the migrations so let's first create our uh, first model which will be a post but before that uh, you already know that there is already a user model inside this and also the migration for it uh, if you see here this is user migration which will uh, which is which can tend uh, the basic fields for us so uh, let's start with making a new model which will be post along with migrations and controller next one we will create uh, uh, notifications So inside post, let's uh, go to our database and no sorry uh, to to the config folder and from here let's select the database here and here uh, inside mysql we will change this engine to NOD, nodb also we need to have visibility and uh, one more that will be media thumbnail in case if we have the video then we also need to have a media thumbnail instead of displaying 
video directly we should display the thumbnail and then when someone click on it it, it should pop up uh, a video or open a video and a new page or something these fields are enough for now we have this should be removed uh, we need one more which will be follower and inside follow we, we need just two here one will be same like user and the second one will be another user but it will be follower uh, sorry following following id and here we need to have a reference here this will be our reference which will go to users and the same thing here the user id can be automatically uh, you know it will pick because the laravel elegant or mm, the laravel is made like it automatically pick the if you are uh, using the right naming then it will automatically pick so we don't need the reference but we also we need one thing here which will be this so uh, if for example a user is deleted then this record will be also deleted and in same way if uh, the user which is which was following uh, was deleted then it will be deleted automatically so this will help us to not write extra delete queries but it will automatically do the things for us and the same one we also need in our uh, this one and our post because if the user is deleted then its posts will be automatically delete or the next thing the power is also completed and sorry you know the power we have to do so I did it wrongly here let me copy it from here and do it here okay and the follower is also now completed the next one is notification so the notification will be uh, related to uh, a user so here we also need a user id but we don't need this one one more thing we need is uh, that will be enum also okay it's a type so it will be either this notification was related to either post or like or comment and we don't need the default so let's delete okay so uh, this notification is uh, either related to post or like or comment tiny integer this one and it can be seen and yeah and default will be let's see zero okay so either it's seen or not but one more and then it will be a comment model and it will contain these two here we will also need to have one more model that will be like and we will paste the same one here because a post will be uh, this uh, like will be related to a post and also to a user who like the post okay uh, and the user table we will use name email and these but let's add one more here that will be a verification code because I will uh, try to verify the email by verification code uh, let's save these and I think these end up for now let's migrate so first of all I have to create a new 
and database inside the PHP my admin. Inside PHP my admin, I created a new database which name is social mini and now I have to run uh, migrate. Oh, it's now some problem. Okay, we have problem inside post table. So let's see. I think this one is a problem here because it's saying something about array. So let's save this. Let's try again. Yeah, it's now migrated and we have all the tables here, okay? Okay, before we go further, I just forgot to to have a user ID here because to know like who commented on uh, which post, okay? So we have the post ID here, but we don't have, uh, I forgot to have the user ID here also. One more thing I forgot here. Uh, I did this uh, when the video was paused, so let me show you. Inside notifications, I added this column here and this will represent like who created the notification so and also i changed these enums here so it's now followed now like and comment the follow it uh, we will use the follow uh, as a check like uh, if it is followed then we will say like user followed you so this user followed this and this will be the logged in user and the same as uh, if it is like then user liked your post and user commented on your post if it is comment after this we can migrate now or later like this now we need to to configure our uh, symptom so here uh, the basic uh, things we will do now and then issuing a, a token to a user or any further operation we will do during the development so first of all i will copy this command and then i will run it okay after this i need to publish it so copy this also and after this we will do our migration again but this time with fresh and go to our apttp kernel.php so http and then kernel.php and next we have to copy this one and paste it here but we already have this one here and this one also so i'll just uh, let's just uncomment these and then let's see if we need further some This is how we can create a token for any user. And okay, this is just for the SPA, okay? Here if you read. So maybe we don't need this for now. Uh, so we can just you know uncomment this but you can try if you want uh, the required things we need as these to have the abilities and ability so these we need to have inside the app kernel still the same inside the route middleware so let's see route middleware we have this we'll paste it here and save Next, we don't need any configuration. So these are all for now. Let's save this. And yeah, these are all. Next, we will have to start by making our uh, APIs. So we will start from the all, uh, all APIs related to the auth, like uh, login register, forgot password, reset password. So let's do these in the next tutorials.